In other videos, we've covered setting up a Link Live account, creating an organization, and claiming a unit to the organization we created. Before we get into some tasks like going through test results, generating reports, and taking a look at a Wi Fi heat map, we should go through some of the basic tasks that are available within Link Live. These include searching, labels, folders, and using the App Store. Link Live has a powerful search capability. We can search on folders, units, labels, and even do a free string search. Fields in blue may be clicked on. Clicking on a field in blue will add it to the search. A search may be made up of multiple conditions. Each of these conditions is added together to create our search. Conditions may be removed by clicking on an X next to the condition, or the entire filter may be removed by clicking on Clear. There are multiple ways to organize results, units, and uploaded files within Link Live. One of the easiest methods is to add labels. One or more labels may be added to a result, a unit, or a file. You may use the search field to search for these labels. Reports may be generated on the results of that search. Let's add a label to one of the results. After the label's been added, we can see that it appears in the test result overview. The label may be removed by clicking on the X next to the label. Next, let's search for the label. We can see that the only results displayed are those containing the label. Folders. Another way to organize items in Link Live is folders. When entering a label on the tester, placing a forward slash in front of the folder name will put the result in the specified folder. The use of a job comment on the tester is a great way to put all the results in the same folder. If the folder doesn't exist, Link Live will create the folder for you. Multiple levels of folders may be created by using multiple forward slashes. Another way to put a result or file into a folder is to click on the Move to Folder in the result detail. After clicking on Move to Folder, a list of existing folders will be displayed. Clicking on the folder will move the result to the selected folder. Entering the name of a new folder will create that folder for you. A result or file may be removed from a folder by clicking on the X next to the folder name. Once all the results and files have been removed from a folder, the folder is deleted. When generating a PDF or CSV report from within a folder, only those results will be included in the report. The App Store. Clicking on the App Store icon on the left side of the screen displays the NetAlly App Store. The App Store contains applications that have been vetted by NetAlly. These applications are available to install on any NetAlly Android-based tester, such as the LinkRunner G2, LinkRunner 10G, or the Etherscope NXG. Applications may be searched based on name, author, or description. There are two types of apps in the App Store, publicly available apps and private apps. Publicly available apps are available to anyone with a supported NetAlly unit. Privately available apps are only available on units claimed to your organization. Let's take a look at how we request a publicly available app in the App Store. First, we click on the Action button in the lower right corner. Then we click on Request an App. From here, we enter the app information. The request is forwarded to the NetAlly development team. Once the app has been approved, it will be available in the App Store to anyone who would like to load it, whether they're in your organization or any other organization. Next, let's look at a private app. In the case of a private app, you must provide the app information and installation file, also known as the APK. This app will only be available on units claimed to your organization. In summary, 
LinkLive provides a number of means for locating and organizing results and files. These include searching, labels, and folders. The App Store contains hundreds of useful apps that may be loaded on supported NetAlly units. Both public and private apps may be added to the App Store. Be sure to check out our other videos on getting the most out of LinkLive. Thank <laughs> you.